Good morning. As well as running this YouTube channel, my company PoodlePress also builds our own WordPress plugins. And yesterday we released a huge update to two of our most popular Gutenberg plugins. WooBuilder Blocks and Storefront Blocks let you create beautiful designs for your most important WooCommerce pages using Gutenberg. And they both now work with the WordPress full site editor. So it's a huge day for me. So if you are a fan of the block editor, and you want to create even more awesome looking WooCommerce stores, you're really gonna love the ability to use WordPress full site editing to design your WooCommerce pages. First, a quick warning, these are not free plugins. Uh, the cost for both is $75, or you can pick them up individually for $49 each. But today we're running a 25% off launch sale. If you get either the block bundle or the e-commerce bundle, just use the coupon code FSC at the checkout. I will put a link in the description of this video to the checkout and the products themselves and everything else. So let's get cracking and into the demo. Right, let's begin with WooBuilder Blocks. This lets you customize the WooCommerce single product page using Gutenberg. Here's one I've already customized. And I'm gonna jump into the WordPress site editor to show you how easy it is to customize these pages now. So I'm gonna go appearance and editor. Now you have to have a block based theme to, to access this functionality. I'll put a link in the description below to some good WooCommerce block based themes that I've been testing out. I'm actually using Brixy here today, which I really, really like, which is a free theme. Then I go to templates. Then this lists all my templates that I can edit. And what we're after is this single product template. Now remember what we're editing here is the template that then applies to all our products. So you edit it here and then it applies to all your products. So if you have a thousand products, all those thousand products instantly all the design changes. So it's really, really powerful. And you'll see it's just made up of blocks. Now we've built a whole bunch of single product blocks that you can use to reconstruct your single product pages with. They are all accessed by the block inserter. I'm not gonna go through them all today. We've got all the ones you might expect to see in there, things like product title and short description, add to cart, product image. We've also got some extra ones like split testing, which is really powerful, and sales counters and stock countdowns as well. So some really good stuff in there. But essentially this page is being built using blocks. So if I wanna edit this template now, I can just make some changes. So let's go jump in here and make just two simple changes. What I'm gonna do is change the size of this first column to increase the image width here. And you'll see when I go back and refresh this product now, see how the image is much, much, much bigger. And let's say I wanna swap over these columns. Well, of course that's incredibly simple to do now. I can just hit the column switch and go back here and refresh this. And now the product is on the right, not on the left. All right, next up, I'm gonna show you how you can categorize your shop page and your category and tag pages, your WooCommerce pages, using our Storefront Blocks plugin. It's the same principle though. We've built a whole bunch of blocks that you can then bring into your pages. I'm not gonna go through them all today, but there's a few up on the screen. We've got some beautiful stuff here, things like flip books and square grids and masonry grids. We have a top product table block, a sales countdown block. I'm going through them all. Uh, a feature product block, product card block, product list block, a slider, uh, a normal Woo grid block. We've also got filters and mobile controls. So a whole bunch of controls and blocks you can use to create your uh, WooCommerce pages. Let me show you how you actually apply them because this is really cool. We go back to the site editor and then we jump into our templates again and you'll see we've got some WooCommerce templates. Now I've edited this one so it's at the top. This is the product category one. This is the one I've created and it's just made up of blocks. So what I've done here is bring in a product category title block which dynamically brings in our category title, whatever category we're showing, it's gonna show that. And then under here, I brought in our, what we call the product normal grid. It's a bit like the WooCommerce one, but let's say we want something a bit more fancy. What I'm gonna do here is I'm actually gonna add one of our masonry ones. And that's gonna bring that grid into the page. Now you can customize it over here on the right. You can do things like change the grid row height or the grid gap here just by these little sliders and lots of other stuff. But the key key bit is under here, this section here that says inherit, inherit global query. What that does, it makes that block recognize where it is in the context of your site. So if that sits on a category page, it's gonna dynamically bring the products in from that specific category. And now when I go back to my category page here and reload it, there we go, there's our snazzy new masonry category. But that is also gonna apply on every single category page that we built. It's using the same layout for the men's category as well. Both WooBuilder blocks and storefront blocks are available from my website, which is poodlepress.com, and both have free 14-day trials available, so you can test them out risk-free. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, if you can hit the like button now, that would be amazing, because it really, really helps spread the word of the channel. Also, every time you do hit that like button, our two cats get a little treat.
So thanks again for watching. If you want to see more videos about Gutenberg, hit that subscribe button now and you'll be notified every time I release a new one. Thanks again and I'll see you soon.